Good evening, welcome to Domenico Tedesco's press conference after uh, tonight's match. Questions for uh, Domenico Tedesco? Who will start? Jonas Bernard? Good evening. Uh, what would be your, your first impression of, of this game uh, tonight? Yeah, more or less boring game. Not a good one, I think, from both sides. Uh, low rhythm. Yeah, many, many uh, difficulties to build up the game, slow passes, no sharpness. This is my conclusion. I think at the end we, we did not more than, uh, yeah, in a, in a summer uh, friendly game. It looks a, li a little bit like a summer friendly game where one team has the possession, the other team drops, then the pos possession is changing. And also the yeah the other team is is dropping so it was it was really difficult really difficult to to find the right shape I think we took many many minutes at the beginning of the game to achieve um, yeah the structure the shape we we wanted and we needed and um, it was a little bit better end of the first half but also the second half was slow just slow. As you said, yesterday you had many uh, defenders in your team. <coughs> Can you explain the choice of putting uh, Amadou Nana in the Indian defense tonight? Yes, it's easy. It's easy because um, Euro is coming. And in case of emergency, imagine you have no changes anymore. But you need to replace a central uh, defender or you have to put uh, a back three, for example. We need ideas. We need ideas. And uh, Amadou is one of these ideas. We spoke with him at, at, um, at the beginning of this week and he told us that he can play it, he likes to play it, uh, he played it also in the past sometimes and that's why we, we, planned, we planned it for uh, this, uh, let's say, 30 minutes. Peter? Of course, your friendly game is, is what it is, but is it not uh, very disappointing in, in the perspective of what you can learn from it or what you, you were expecting or maybe to see or individually? <coughs> No, not at all, because for me there are many information, many important information. No, not only bad. If you have a look on uh, Aster of Ranks, for example, he was a lion on the pitch. He was defending alone the midfielder, uh, in, especially in the first half as we played with 1-6 in front of the defence. So he was in the challenges, he won many battles. Um, that was a good one, of course, in this situation, just to make one example, eh? we have more. But many, many informations, and that's what we asked out of these games, because we have to take some decisions. In a few days, we have to take big decisions, you know. And we have to understand what can help the team, what we better avoid, also from a tactical point of view. So, so many, many information, but of course, also some negatives. Next question, the gentleman there. Hello, yeah. Um, Hi. Could you not have done more as a, as a coach then? You said the game was boring, yeah? Could you not as a coach have done something to change things, to make it more exciting? Yeah, probably you are right, probably. I will analyze the game tomorrow or tonight and then I will see uh, probably in that situation we could play this pass or we could change with three strikers or four strikers or five strikers. Afterwards, I'm always more intelligent than before or during the match. Um, I think in the second half we tried, we had some changes that we planned before, so the changes in the halftime uh, were not changes that are due to a, a bad first, uh, first half or bad performance. We planned really each of these six changes uh, in advance. And of course, then we changed with two strikers. We changed a little bit our setup in the building up. We changed the way we pressed. So, yeah. Were you, were you afraid of the Ireland team in, in any way? Anybody on the team that you were afraid of? Afraid of? No, I'm never afraid of anybody. Christoph Franken. Yes. Hi, coach. Hi. Uh, are you happy with the system with two strikers? <coughs> And second question, what do you think about the, the comeback, the first one with, the, with you uh, of Thomas Mouniel? Yeah, Thomas was uh, quickly inside the game. I think that he won some uh, challenges on the right side. He was close to score, the 1-0.
He made one pass for uh, Dodi also. That was uh, really interesting. So what he could do, he did. It was a really, really positive uh, example, as we spoke uh, before, not just negative ones. But a good sign, a good signal from his side. Yes, absolutely. And two strikers, yeah, it, it's always depending. We, we wanted to, to give minutes to Michi, wanted to give many minutes to, to Lois. That's why we decided. So it was not, not just a tactical uh, approach. But today we watched a little bit more on the individuals, you know, who can play and then adapting, of course, uh, our system uh, to the players we have. Niels? Coach, how do you explain that this was such a boring game and that a lot of guys didn't take their chance or to, to install a tempo in the game or hard rhythm? <clears throat> These are the chances for them to, to go to the Euros. True, true, but it was not easy. It, I have to say it's not easy for, uh, for the players as well. You know, the, the game was boring from my point of view because not that many cha cha uh, chances on both sides. I think that if you have a look, especially on the second half, I think that, I don't know, they didn't uh, shoot one, one time on our goal and we had uh, just one chance with uh, Thomas. It was not a big, that's why boring, but with many information, as I told you. But um, for the team, for the, for the players, it was not easy. It's not easy because in the first half they defended with a 5-4-1, so we had absolutely no spaces uh, in between the lines. And then, if you then play slowly and if you then pass slowly, then it's difficult. It's easy for them always to move and just to close the spaces. And of course, the constellation uh, of the starting 11 with many young players, players without rhythm, we knew in advance. But we have to test now. If we don't test now, we have no chance uh, anymore. You know. So, of course, we, we calculated it, that we will have a lack of intensity, a lack of... Um, yeah, also of structure, because I think that this team never played uh, together before, but we knew this, and for us it's not a problem. Just we took a little bit too long to come in. Ludo? Uh, what can you tell about the first game of uh, Cody Dominic? Yeah, I think that uh, Cody did, uh, did well. In, um, in many circumstances it was, it was not easy to shuffle on the, on the, on the side because we had to press and to push with uh, Timo Castagna on the, on the right full-back position, uh, pressing the wing-back. And then Connie was always shuffling to the side. So it's something that uh, in Genoa he's not doing, especially not with four. He's playing more the back three, so it's, it's a new situation for him, a new team for him. And uh, also a new level, I think. And uh, he did well. Okay. Well, that's a good thing tonight. The penalty stopped by, by Madsen. Would you consider that if for a goalkeeper there is no uh, structure? I mean, for the Euro, Kuhn uh, Castells is the number one, or you can you can change your mind uh, for the Euro? <coughs> yeah, of course. Now we today we had uh, to speak also with uh, with Mats about the change with uh, to, uh, Thomas Kaminski. So it was the wish of Max Urbanski, our goalkeeper coach, if it's possible, if the sixth change is possible, to give uh, the first cap to Thomas, because he just deserved, uh, due to his uh, games that he's playing in the Premier League with Luton, I think that he's performing really, really good there. So we spoke uh, with Mats, not with Thomas. For Thomas it was a surprise now. But um, it's important to, to keep everybody positive to give the first cap before we go to the Euros and for the rest we have enough time. Okay, no more questions? Okay, thank you coach, thank thanks you. all. Thank you, have a nice Bye -bye. evening. Good evening.